So I'm building an electric jet surfboard. I've got two of these 70 mil 3D printed jet drives, two of these 56123 SSS motors, 300 kV with water-cooled jackets, and two of these 400 amp water-cooled Flyer ESCs. And that's gonna take a lot of power to push these boards. I'm hearing rumors of 18 kilowatts. So divided by two pumps, it's gonna be nine kilowatts each. And if I do a 10S battery, which is gonna be good for 300 kVs apparently, I need like 1300 RPM for these jet drives to get a good speed and 13,000, sorry. So on a 10S, um, it'll be over 200 amps to get nine kilowatts. So it's gonna need a massive battery. Look at this BMS, it's huge. Yeah, I wanna use P42A cells and you can't get them anywhere. They're, everything seems to be sold out. All the wholesalers are sold out. I wanna buy 300. The only place I could find them was Alibaba. Never bought anything off Alibaba before and I was pretty hesitant because I've heard a lot of rumors and I just went ahead and bought them anyway. This is how it went. Well, step one went well, they showed up. But is there 300 of them? Are they genuine Molecel P42A cells? And are they in good condition? Let's find out. So the packaging's good. I gotta count them up individually. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, that's good. boxes, two, bo two per box, 300 cells, looks like the right amount. It says molar cell INR 21700. I'll weigh it up. I've got some legit cells. I, I mean, I think are legit. I bought them from a retailer here, so they're not legit, I'll go back down there and tell them off. All right, so here's the one I bought from the retail shop, the vape store down the road. And as you can see, they look pretty similar, very similar. I don't wanna mix up which one's which. So I'll just weigh them up, see if they weigh the same. 66 grams for the one from the retail shop. And 66 grams for the one from China. So I'll select a few samples out of here and I'll voltage test them and then I'll discharge test them as well. So I'll find out if they're truly 4.2 amps and then the rest of the cells are just gonna have to wait over the next few weeks. As I build the batteries, we'll find out um, if they're all good.
Sweet. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Now that we've established we've been sent the correct amount of legitimate sales, let's talk about communication and shipping. I messaged quite a few different companies. They're all really nice. Most of them got back to me straight away. They sent me some crazy emojis. There was one little Pac-Man face with a target on his forehead. who's was given a sarcastic looking thumbs up. Um, maybe it wasn't sarcastic. It looked sarcastic to me. I don't know. I asked her what it meant. She said, awesome, fantastic. So it's obviously a good thing. But anyway, they were lovely. And um, I just chose the cheapest shipping because they're all offering about $4.90 US per sale. I'll put a link in the description to the company that I went with, but yeah. the sales rep that I used told me that it would be one week shipping, which is like insane. You'd never get something in a week from China. So I paid for it on the 29th of October and arrived on the 23rd of November. So just over three weeks, which is pretty good, especially like November during COVID. It's bad shipping at the moment. Yeah, all in all, it was good experience. I'll definitely buy more sales off them. I mean, obviously I'm gonna go through all these sales and we'll find out if they're all good. Um, I wouldn't take that test of one sale to be gospel. You should probably hit that subscribe button and then you can watch me build the rest of them and make sure that they are all good before you go and buy some. And who knows, you might learn how to build a jet board.